Before I get our first act up on here, last weekend was a big weekend for the people who run this, the Circus Freaks. You've heard of them. How nice. We had two shows running simultaneously. We did a K-N-O-N benefit at uh, Club Dada. Yeah. Where I wasn't at this one, but it was Jet and Monkey. Monkey, how'd it go? It was awesome. I can back you up because I saw pictures of Monkey, and damn, I don't normally say this, but Monkey, you look pretty good out there. So bravo on you. I hear rumor that those are going to be circulating around the net when you get a chance to see them. Yeah, we'll attack nakedlens.org. Oh, nakedlens.org. We'll do a little shout-out for them. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Get your butt down here and take some pictures. Anyone who knows Mark knows what I'm talking about. Anybody who doesn't, just, you know, wait. He'll eventually show up in shame and take a bunch of amazing photos, and you'll get to see. Yeah. Okay, so we, and by we, I mean myself, Big Bill Edwilson, who is not here this evening, and Little G, who is sitting right over there. We're the busking team at the Taste of Dallas in 100-degree weather. Yeah, we did great. We did, we did awesome, and it was wonderful. And Marie Martin backed us up as our roustabout for the weekend. We always send someone else. We love, you, we love you for taking care of us and bringing us bucket after bucket of water in the sweaty heat. But I want to point out something. Little G sold out on us. He totally sold out. Okay, so here's what happened. We're out there, and we're rocking next to it. It was near Jack, wasn't it? Jack FM? Yeah, we're near Jack FM rocking out because they had some pretty good music, and we're doing our thing, and we're, we're doing everything, and we're getting our show going. And, and here's what happens. This guy comes walking over and says, hey, you, little guy. And he's like, yeah. He's like, you think you can eat a taco while you're on that roll of bola? Worst challenge ever because you know who lost. And he's like, oh, I could totally do that. And next thing I know, I turn around, and there's little G on a roll of bola eating a taco from Blue Goose. That's only the beginning of it. That's all, and they, they're, not, they're not paying us, so I'm not really going to shout them out much. But thank you. It was really cool. Hire us. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing. I turn around a little while later. He's eating a plate of nachos. <laughs> I turn around a little while later. He's got you know, a refill on the nachos. <laughs> I'm like, man, I have to buy my own lunch. What the hell's your deal? He's like, la, la. And he's standing next to their booth. Rolla bowling back and forth with a plate of nachos. And next thing I know, I'm thinking, he can't do this forever. Next thing I know, Telemundo comes walking by. <laughs> Our very own little G was on TV eating nachos on a roller bola. <laughs> so while you're a sellout, I am really damn impressed. You were awesome. That was not the weirdest thing we saw at Taste of Dallas. Okay, so I'm sitting, and I got this thing I do where I contact juggle, sitting on a pillow, and I'm minding my own business, and everything's cool. And Bugs Bunny walks by. That happens, that happens. Daffy Duck walks by. That happens. That sometimes happens even when I'm not near a Six Flags event. One laugh from the guy who understands. Everyone else is like, I wonder what he means by that. We can hear you all the way up here. So after a while, I see a whole bunch of characters go by, and I go, okay, Six Flags, that makes sense. Then a stormtrooper walks by. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> so the Dark Lords of the Sith have, in fact, paid the Circus Freaks a dollar to juggle for them. I'd also like to point out that I found out something I didn't know. They actually throw every bit of money they make to charity. Bravo. We hope you'll come down here in full uniform and show us what for. I have challenged you. If anybody knows them, just, you know, send them that little video. That'll be good. That wasn't the weirdest thing. Because I survived Daffy Duck going, who it turns out was a friend of mine I didn't know. <laughs> you learn, you meet all sorts of people in this business. Um, and the stormtroopers weren't the weirdest thing. The weirdest thing I found was a penguin. First of all, the penguin stole all of our audiences. Big Bill's like watches an entire army of children that are juggling with him run across the thing. I watch a penguin walk by. And I don't mean like a dude in a penguin suit. I mean... <laughs> South African penguins like the heat, apparently. I didn't know this. Well, the Dallas Zoo was out there. They had a whole bunch of animals, which explains why I also saw a lemur. But they had this penguin walking by, which stole all of our kids, which means they stole all of our tips. 
penguin upstage me, but I found out it turns out the penguin is also the meanest creature alive. Because when you walk up to the penguin and go, can I pet him? The Dallas Zoo guy, the guy paid to be friendly and explain, hey, come to the Dallas Zoo and pay for the animal, says, no, not unless you want to lose a finger. <laughs> I saw him go in for a stroller at one point. Suddenly it was snack time for penguin and they walked him <laughs> off the stage. So yeah, so we saw just about everything at Taste of Dallas. They also invited us back next year. And I think to a few other festivals as well. So get ready. It's going to get nuts. We're going to keep scaling up. And we're going to take some of you guys with us if we can. That said, the only injury for the entire weekend, including heat exhaustion, nothing, including things going wrong, including people falling down. Monkey, you got anything on your team? No injuries. That means I'm about to announce the only injury of the weekend. I blistered my thumb from too much juggling. We didn't drop a single person, so there you go. That's your report. And that brings us up to now. Can I get a, hey, we're back. At the open stage, welcome.